RCA Victor and its dealers present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kukla Politan players, with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Well, that's a pretty lovely blank page. I don't know how I should start it. Dear Diary. No. Today she looked at me. No. I wouldn't be in the 4-H club. I'd tell you, how would I do it? Let me see. Um, uh... Ross! Yes, Coop? You busy? No, not right at the moment. Could you come in a minute? Sure. Ross? Yes, Coop? Someone told me you used to be a 4-H boy. Yeah, well, I was... Uh, quite a little long while ago. Is it? I said, when, when you were when you were a young boy? Yeah, we up, up in Minnesota? Up in Minnesota. Isn't that That's wonderful? Right. Well, we were at the stock show yesterday, and we were... We're, we decided we were going to try to join the 4-H club, and I, I'm stuck. So this, this is a, this is a... Oh, a record. Member's record, see? Well, they didn't have those when I was a 4-H club member. They didn't? No. Well, I don't know exactly what to do with it. I was wondering if you could help me. Well, we used to, we had a project. You know, you'd oh, maybe that's what I should like do. Uh, yeah, you'd, you'd choose a project, and then oh. uh, you'd say, uh, well, this year I'd like to raise a, I don't know, Cow, steer, steer uh, yeah, or chickens, or a pig, pig. Or chicken. every year. Different some parts. people do the same thing every year, but a lot of people like me change. would change. We'd do a different thing every year and get a lot of variety and a lot of experience. Did you win any prizes? I don't I don't think I ever did. <laughs> um, I don't know. I can't. Well, I don't know. My brother won. My <laughs> brother wouldn't like this. <laughs> he won one big in a cake once. <laughs> 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 that's wonderful. Well, I think that's very good. Well, you won a prize being a porridge. Well, even though maybe not. Actually, I think it did a lot. It must oh, have done you lots of good. You won Helen. Yeah, that's yeah, something, that's really good. It? <laughs> Listen, uh, Russ, uh, thanks. i tell you what. Would you, if you see Franny, would you ask her to come in? Maybe sure, she knows more about she, it. Because yeah. I know she, she, was, she used to live on a farm for a while. Sure. Did you see her? Me? Oh, hi. Hi. How are you today? Fine, and you? Oh, I'm fine. Look. Yeah. Oh, 4-H club members record. Yeah, I got it down at the stock show yesterday. Oh, were you there? I was down visiting. Did you go? No, I didn't, Kukla. I should like very much to go, though, while well, here. Well, I, 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 we had such a good time. Oh, I bet you did. Holly and I, when we, we didn't, couldn't get into the, uh, the big, uh, uh, amphitheater. No? Because it was too, it was so crowded there, the horse show in there and everything. But we went around, we went, we went to visit the, uh, we saw some of the pigs and, and, oh, right. Of course, you're going to buy a farm right away. <laughs> well, huh? sure, I was thinking we could be 4-H. Club members, maybe, and we saw the cutest thing. What? <laughs> so what? It was real silly. What did you see? We saw some little bitty lambs and sheep. Oh, aren't they cute? And they were they were standing up and having a haircut. Oh no, a little bitty. Yeah, they were having a haircut. Oh. <laughs> and uh, and after they got their haircut, it's <laughs> well, real. Tell me. Well, they, they put a some sort of a little coat on them with a with a hood. And it had oh, a slit. Oh, no. Yeah, sort of a top coat. Or, well, Monsieur Joseph went with us, and he said it was a slip cover. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Monsieur Joseph, he always has an eye for decorating. Her. Yeah. Well, tell um, me, why in the world would they do that? I don't know. I, I, I suppose that's one of the reasons why I should be a, be a 4-H boy because I don't really. No, except I would say maybe now this is a guess. Well, maybe we'll get, we'll probably get awful lot of letters saying I'm wrong, maybe. But I thought, well, after all, they comb them and brush them. And then clip them so carefully. Uh, I imagine they put those little. Like putting a hairnet on, maybe. Hmm? Well, sort of, and then it keeps the straw and uh, 
the, the dirt that's in the pen, you know, from getting all over the, the nice well, clean Well, now, feet. maybe, maybe that just might be the very thing. It seemed practical to me. Yes, it Or it's, it's like, for instance, when, when Madame Mukapus gets her hair set. Mm-hmm. She always uh, puts a little hairnet over her hair and uh, goes out while it dries. Of course, it doesn't uh, do her a lot of good. I don't no. Know. Maybe it works a little differently. Does the hair a lot of good, though? Well, I guess it might do that. Well, if you're going to be a 4-H boy this year, you're going to have one of the busiest years of your life. You know what? It's a real wonderful thing. I didn't know what to do about this, though. Hello, hello, hello. Well, hello to you. Look, I'm a member. Well, I should say. Honorary. Look, see? Look. Oh, see my badge? Yes, see? that's fine. Yeah, see? Well, have you selected your project yet? Yes. What is it? I'm going to design a dress. Oh, Holly, that's... <laughs> that well, it's a very important seems... part of the 4-H activities is well, I know home that designing. Is... Yes, but I'll... Hardy that's... seems worthy of your talents. That's more for girls. It is not more for girls. After all, if a girl can uh, win a prize with a 1,200-pound steer, why can't a boy win a prize with a sequin-covered dress? Well, Ollie, I don't guess there is any reason why I couldn't, but... Uh... Doesn't seem to be your... I think you'd have more fun if you, if you worked on some other line. Well, you know, I was going to work maybe on uh, egg production or something, but, you know, every time I bring the eggs in, you know what'll happen. Yes. And I, I just don't think that's exactly right. Because... I would work on a bigger project if I were you, Ollie. At least you'd know where it was and where you stood on it. I could raise effluents. What? Well, I... Effluent. I don't know that they're included in the program. Of I don't think so. Why not? Forest. Well, I just don't believe they are. Well, they're herbivores. <laughs> what? Herbivores. No, he's the he's he, head he, of the he, station what I thought. No, no, no. <laughs> no, they're two, two people. I mean, they're two, they're class, there's carnivorous animals and herbivorous. And then there's omnivorous also. <laughs> now, the, uh, the herbivorous animals are the animals which eat plants and uh, grow like uh, they're botanists. <laughs> Only they eat him. Eat it. <laughs> what? Go around on that other one again, though, for me. Eat the botanist? That's not very nice. No. They eat the plants. See, those are the her herbivorous ones. I see. And they, um, they are uh, very, uh, uh, they're, uh, those aminals are the ones, um, the many, well, now, a cow is a herbivorous aminal. I see. And then there's a, an effluent also is the, is the herbivorous aminal. <laughs> they eat hay and peanuts. And uh, things like that. So there's no reason why. Now lions and tigers, they they uh, they don't eat they don't eat just plants. No. They're, in fact, they don't eat any any roughage at all. I don't think. I well, think they're strictly non-green vegetable type eaters. That's kind of silly, isn't I it? I know, and I think they're 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 different. No wonder they have such yellowish complexions. That's the whole thing. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Say. But uh, so I why couldn't I raise effluents? I've got a good reason. What? We haven't got enough room. That's a good reason. I yes, oh yes. I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> That's fine. Would well, you want to join our, our branch of... Of course, we're not real 4 I don't think, because we don't well, have a I big farm, but I guess don't need a real big farm, do you? No, indeed not. Oh, I'd like very much to, Kukla. Uh, so many wonderful things we could learn, and so exciting, all the different projects, and we could raise chickens, and, and we could have <coughs> sheeps, and, and sheeps, and... Sheep. I guess we, should, we can each have one if we want one, can't we? Why, sure. Certainly. That's the wrong grammatical usage. Sheep is plural or singular. Well, we want a plural one, don't we'll we? We'll have lambs. Yes, that's what we'll do. <laughs> and uh, we can have horses. We could we have these, oh, we saw these great, wonderful horses. Oh, they're so big. And, and, and you walk down and, and see them in their stalls. Now they're a little scared. Oh, yes, aren't they tremendous? They're so animals? big. And I was kind of afraid, really. I... I I, I confess it now, but I was a little afraid. I, I got real close to Ollie. I just got like that. You did? Because we are pretty big, and, and, well, the kicking in was facing it. I see. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but, but the farmer there, he said, now, don't you worry, because he said they're very nice. They're real kind, because they're the ones that pull all the, the big wagons and things. Yes, what a great amount of work they do. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, really, uh, if, if you want to follow the... the uh, plan of 4-H boys and girls, we really don't have to pick out any, any new great project mm -hmm. because one of the most important things in the 4-H program is to, is to find out something that you want to do and then work toward that goal and accomplish it. That's true. So you see, there are so many things which we've already begun that if we just work very 
very diligently toward, we, we might finish, and that would be uh, several projects taken care of at once. That'd be a good idea. It, it might be. Here, here. I agree. Do you? Yeah, but let's pretend we were farmers today. Well, all right. Let's just pretend. Why don't you, you could be, well, didn't you used to live on a farm? No, I didn't live on a farm, Ollie. Not really. But uh, I know a little bit about what goes on there. Uh -huh. Didn't you ever spend a vacation on a farm? Not actually. Do you know how the, how a day on the farm goes? No, let's, let's find out. I'm not sure that I do either, but we'll see. <laughs> Bright and early every morning On the farm where I was born in, You could hear the birdies singing sweet Then you hear the rooster crowing That's the way he has of showing That he's up and ready for to eat <laughs> Then you hear the cows are mooing, yeah. and the doves are busy cooing. <laughs> Collie dog all stretched out in the sun. Oh. Oh. Wash your face beneath the pump. It's time you're up and on the jump. It's morning, and you must get something done. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Whistle cause it's morning on the farm. The sizzling of the bacon has you waking full of cheer. Coffee's in the making, no mistaking when it's near. Living can be heavenly, the happiness it brings. Just to be here on the Farm where everybody sings. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Whistle because it's morning on the farm. That's it. <laughs> Oh, cool. Oh, how about your chores? Me? Oh, I'm going to, uh, well, I, oh, I'm, I'm going to go and arrange for the barn dance. Well, all right, that's fun, too. <laughs> well, well, you, there's so many chores to do now, I've got to go get the water, don't I? This is an old-fashioned well, farm where I have a pump and get the pump and everything, and I go feed the chickens. And well, there aren't very many old-fashioned farms left. I know it. Farming has become such a great science. So I chop the wood? Well, you could chop some wood if you wanted to. Chop the wood, and, and then we could then we could have a we could have a real real uh, uh, how, fashion farm. How does the uh, how does the weather uh, look as far as our crops are concerned? Oh, I, I'm not sure. I tell you, I could go ask uh, I could go ask uh, Aunt Bula. Well, she might know. Yeah, I'll go and, and look at the. Oh, say by the way, I could groom Ophelia. Yes, you could do that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I should say, just do yeah. that. She uh, looks a little rusty. Yeah. But you could probably just... I could, I could take uh, Carrie out to the pasture. Oh, say. Would oh. you like to go out to the pasture? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Milky. Milky oh. the cow. Oh, Milky the cow. Well, that's good. Well, they're all... Hello, oh. kids. Well, say, isn't this wonderful? Yes, I'm an honorary member. Well, I know you'll just be... I'm a sort of advisor. You're an advisor? Well, I like to think I am. Well. Can't find my hand. There it is. I'll, uh, I'll think right along with you then. I oh, want you to be God, happy. It isn't practical for the farm, I can tell you that. No, it isn't. Why, I swept out the barn this morning. Just walked through. <laughs> <laughs> I can see where you could accomplish quite a bit there. Uh, dear, uh, Kuka said you were interested in something about the weather. Well, I just wondered, uh, uh, everybody who lives on a farm usually can... Tell by looking at his, at the sky or or the star or or just a sunset or something. We'll always tell him. Dear, this is something you should not be without. It's an almanac. Oh yes. Very wonderful almanac. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I heard a radio program once called uh, Alma and her Almanac. Alma and her Almanac. Yes, and it gives all sorts of helpful hints to folks down on the farm. 
Well, say, that would be wonderful. Yes. I think yeah. you might, maybe you could do it for, for television, what Alma did for radio. Well, I, I could the certainly... The station uh, went off the air after two months. Oh, did it? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you, Evel, I, I think I could it. do it then. Well... Let me see. Have you got a... Say, uh, just a minute, I'll get your costume. Oh, all right. Hold on now. Let me see. Here you are, dear. Well... Let me, let me announce you. I'll bet there's some interesting little, uh, little things there in are. here. Well, let me announce you. Um, friends, good morning. Um, this is your Aunt Beulah speaking. Um, now, and you folks down on the farm, uh, want some tips? Did I hear you say no? Well, you're gonna get them anyway. Because we have just brought, uh, to you, uh, or we are bringing with you, uh, at you, Alma and her almanac. Well, just, uh, wait a minute till I get some of my stuff. I need a little more stuff. Oh, all right, dear. Just a moment, we will bring to you Alma and her almanac. Good morning, Alma. Good morning, farmer friends. Well, I'll leave you to take over. Thank you very much. Well, we're all just a big happy family. You had your problems, I have mine. But if you will just consult Aunt Alma's almanac, I know you'll find the solution. Not only will you find a solution to your problems, but you will find a chuckle here and there. For instance, the pastor of a little church in Vermont was famous all over the state for the fact that every one of his sermons lasted exactly 22 minutes. Then one unfortunate Sunday, the sermon lasted 45. At dinner, his mortified wife asked him what had gone amiss. It was one of these things, said the pastor moodily. My secret device was to slide a cough drop under my tongue just before giving the sermon. It melted in exactly 22 minutes. Then I knew it was time to stop. This morning I was talking for over 40 minutes before I realized that my cough drop was a suspender button. <laughs> so, as I say, you will find many little chuckles. Now you may be interested in knowing what the weather will be for the remainder of this month. We find from the 28th to the 30th, fair weather, clear skies in the central states, and frequent fogs on the South Atlantic and Gulf Coast. Of course, if you don't live there, pay no attention to this at all. You probably have other problems. Everybody has his problems. For instance, now you may think that it would be a wonderful thing to own a farm. A friend of ours from the city felt exactly the same way. But when he had purchased the farm, he could see that it could not be run as he had expected it to be. So he was confronted with a great many problems, one of which went something like this, which we have put into verse for you at this time. A gentleman farmer whom we knew was sorely perplexed as to what to do. Sorely perplexed. Poor man. You can see his problem, or you will in a minute. A milking machine seemed a worthless gadget, but a pint and a half was the best he had had yet. As you will see. Well, Rome wasn't built in a day. However, things were not getting any better for this, our gentleman farmer friend. Pint and a half. Until seeing his unhappy, miserable plight, we made a suggestion to our friend one night. Perhaps barnyard rhythm will do wonders with him. Said he, goodness gracious, alive. Why, who would have thought it? I'm so glad I bought it. I'll just try out my fine 45. Well, so he did. And believe me, the pint and a half, well, there were gallons and gallons and gallons and gallons. You see, everyone was so happy about the situation. Well, why not? This fine little player with the record designed for each other, distortion free, so easy to operate, so light and easy to carry, a child might easily pick it up and just 
transport it from place to place. Thank so, you, dear. Oh, by the way, I have some of those fine RCA Victor 45 record albums right with me. Have you really? Yes, I'd like to show you one at the I moment. would love to see it. Would them. you like to see yes. one? Yes. This is a very fine one because this is a one of the new little nipper series for the young people. I'd like to meet our farmer friend, too, sometime. Well, perhaps you might. Uh, I hope so. Yes. Now, this is a wonderful new album called Mother Gooseland. Yes. You can see, it's one of the little nipper series. Mm -hmm. And uh, has wonderful little pictures inside, the stories and uh, illustrations from the little stories that go on the record, you see. Yes. Yeah. The fine RCA Victor album. Now, mm -hmm. I want to show you one more thing. Yes, I'd be delighted. I just want to remind you, I know some of our farmer neighbors do not have 45, but perhaps they have the 78 RCA Oh, Victor. and this comes in and 78? This comes in the, in the 78 as well. Oops, my gown is covering the little area. <laughs> this is in the regular 78 RPM size. Mm-hmm. Thought you might like to know that, dear. Well, I am greatly, greatly obliged would you, to you. Would you care to take a look inside? Well, yes, I would. Mm-hmm, thought you would. You see? Oh, yes, see? illustrations. Illustrations? Isn't, mm -hmm. that, isn't that enchanting? Why, it is indeed. Mm -hmm. Look at that, all the Mother Goose characters. Yes. Isn't that fine? Certainly isn't in the yes, record. Yes, indeed. Well, thank you very much, dear. Aunt Beulah. You're welcome, dear. And if you have uh, any further problems, just... Uh, Write to Alma. Uh, I'll do that. Oh, me? Yes. I have no problems, dear. Well, then, let me be the first to shake your hand. Well, that's that, I guess. Well, that's a bell. I got on the phone. Oh. <laughs> Watch it. Oh, the barn dance? Yeah, I think we're going to get ready for it in a minute. Say, Fran. Yes? What about the barn dance thing? Well, Ollie was making arrangements for that. I don't know where he is. Well, I don't know either. We should we should have it in a minute, I think, shouldn't we? Because after, after, after the work is done and everything, one of the wonderful things about, about living on a farm and everything is, is a wonderful feeling of neighborless, neighborliness. That yes, For all is. your friends and... You get together, don't you, and have barn dances and... Sure, and, and everybody picnics. joins in, young and old. Hey, right? Well, I, I don't know much about dancing a square dance, but I, I know a few of the call. Do you? Mm-hmm. Maybe we could do something Have else. to have real spirited music, though. Hello. Hello. We're getting all set up. Oh, we are? Yeah, just a moment while we, I get the musician. We thought maybe you'd gone away and oh, forgotten no, about it. Oh, no, I'm, I'm real busy and I'm here. Good for you. I'm glad I... That would be fun, wouldn't it? Are you going to uh, be in the band? Are you going to dance? Well, huh? I thought I might just join in on a little bit of everything. Well, that's, of course, a great spirit. That would be wonderful. Hello, Fletcher. Oh, 4 H girls, won't you come out tonight? Won't you come out tonight? Won't you come out tonight? Oh, 4 H girls, won't you come out tonight and dance by the light of the moon? Oh, boy, we're all set up. <laughs> Bye, Cracky. You bet. Yes, indeedy. Oh, Fletcher. Well, are you ready to begin right no, now? No, I'm not. Well, but what? I will be soon. Oh, boy. Hot <laughs> dog. Am I? Oh, I'm going to really uh, cut a very fine figure tonight. Will you dance with me? Why, Fletcher, I'd be honored. Good for you. Well, that'll be fine. I hope you can lead. <laughs> what? I hope you lead. Oh, yes, indeed. I don't mind at all going first. Well, that... <laughs> I think Fletcher would work out better in the band, don't you? I sometimes think that Fletcher would work out better just right back in the mailroom. Oh, I don't know. He has, he has a great many sides that, that we don't see very often. But the day we, we let him come on the stage, it was the end for all of us, you know. Well, I've sort of enjoyed it, though. Well, are you all set for Barnard? Well, I am. Well, well, let me see if we can get our instruments. I'll, uh, I'll be just kind of uh, out of the line of fire, and I can, uh, I can call with you. Oh? Want me to do that? Yeah, you call for us, because we're... I think, is Madame Ogilvy's coming? You bet. And All Colonel right. Cracky, everyone's coming. Oh, it will be yeah. a gala occasion. All right, fine. Tell me when you're, uh, are you all ready? ready yeah. mm -hmm. Well, you give, give the signal then and it begins. Yeah, I will. You ready? How's your instrument? Fine. Get out of town, oh, 
Oh, that tucker, get out of town. Oh, that tucker, you're too late to pay for supper. Grab your partner by the car and swing her all around old Arkansas. Miss, 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 that's what's called. Miss, 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 that's what's called. Miss, 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 Okay. What? Whoop, 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 drop. I got it now. Got it. All right. Yeah. How are you doing? Pretty good. Not no, much sound. No though. rosin on there. Try no. to push it a little hard. You don't need me. That tickles my chin. <laughs> oh, that doctor, you're too late to come for supper. I'm leaving. I'm left of the do -si do Grab your partner. Here you go. <laughs> Are you too tired to Keep go on? Keep calling. Oh, I'm all right. <laughs> Get that pretty girl to the right. Here you are and stay all night. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jim. Having a good time? Yeah, oh, that's just fine. fine. Oh, I'm so glad. All hands round in a do -si do Grab your partner. Here we go. Chill in the air. Slows on the ground. Meet that pretty girl. Swing her all around. I do declare, ah, 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 oh, oh, uh, stop, stop the music, yes, stop. stop the music, oh, 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 too much for you, Colonel, oh, 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 there he's gone, uh, oh. what do we do, oh. water, give oh. me water, madam, oh. oh, oh, really, breathe deeply, breathe deeply, there's the way, dear, oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, ah, uh, well. It was a kind of a rude awakening, but we didn't know what else to do. Ah, uh, well, ah, uh, sorry I didn't wear my bathing trunks. Well, <laughs> uh, well, you could have. Well, I guess I could I guess I'll go back to, to sitting in the rocking chair for a spell. Uh, just, a, just a good old quiet Virginia Rhea would have been a little better, wouldn't I'm it? I'm afraid that I'm not quite up to my boyhood tricks anymore. Oh, I don't know, Colonel. Well, I think the music was just a little fast. Uh, perhaps so. I, I'm going to get a soft drink and have a little rest. Well, yes, just for gaining your composure. <laughs> How did you do? Oh, I did fine. It was a great success. What did you do? Nothing. Well, that's what I thought. <laughs> I just did it well, though. <laughs> well, that's a very important thing. Sure, I just got the whole thing set up. Well, do you think we're successful farmers? Well, I, In a I sense. don't believe so. In a sense. But, uh, anyway, I think we have a lot more to learn about. 4-H, so maybe we better study a little harder before we get into it, huh? Well, I'm pretty sure we can. Well, I'll just make one announcement then. Remember, in television, it's RCA. Victor. This is Bert Tolstrom speaking. However, if Kukla were speaking, he might say just this. Thank you. Thank you on behalf of all the Kuklapolitan players. RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. Kukla Fran and Ollie comes to you from Chicago. <laughs>